elephant from about 100 yards away. Uh, but even if they haven't seen each other for so many years, the elephant came to him and performed her old circus routines pretty much on his command. Her many years of past experience with his train, with her trainer, gave her the power to recognize his voice. Now, you know, as, as humans, we don't always do well as animals in voice recognition. But humans can learn to recognize God's voice just as they learn to recognize the color red from the color blue or yellow, even with its many shades and features. A musician learns by experience to distinguish a minor key from a major one by simply hearing a melody. And Christians, by the guidance of the Holy Spirit, learn by experience to recognize the voice of God. So as believers in Christ, when Jesus speaks, we know it. We know His voice because we know Him. When we spend more and more time with Jesus through the personal study of the Word of God, in prayer, in doing what is right, and what is godly, we are transformed. We are transformed, as Paul said, by the renewing of our mind so that we may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. In other words, together with the Holy Spirit or in concert with the Holy Spirit, we learn by experience to recognize the voice of God. So what our scripture is asking us today is, are, are you following the voice of God? Do you devote yourself to study God's Word? Is your lifestyle modeled on the life that Jesus walked before us? Does your attitude toward your time, your money, attitude towards people who are in need, and your priorities, do they resemble the attitude of Jesus? Whatever your situation is, if you are a true shepherd of Jesus and you're not necessarily following Jesus, then you can expect to feel the pull of His loving staff as He leads you back in the right direction. As a more direct application of our word today, although it's something you all probably do already, I would like to invite or remind all of you to make sure you check in with God personally every day in daily devotions. And make sure that the Word of God is part of your daily plan. Also, in case you're not yet a regular attender of one of our Sunday schools after the service, I would definitely like to invite you to check in with our Sunday school classes as well, either with Najar and Sexan or for Thai Sunday School or for myself for English. Uh, because no matter how old we are or where we are in our Christian walk, it's never a waste of time to hear as often as possible the voice of Jesus in the Word, the joyful sound of His call for you to follow in whatever path He leads you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, our Good Shepherd, walk beside us through the joy and trouble of this day. Help us to always seek Your voice in all things. Lead us to Your way of truth, righteousness, and love. Amen.